Uh, we want to uh, talk about uh, this volatility that we've been seeing, and one firm that's actually benefiting from it, BGC Partners, reporting fourth quarter earnings this morning, beating earnings and revenue expectations. I spoke with BGC Partners Chairman and CEO uh, Howard Lutnick, who's also the Chairman and CEO of Cantor Fitzgerald, who basically wants volatility and said, bring it on, because this is a real positive. Listen to this. So BGC is a marketplace company, so uh, we don't make money when the markets go up. We don't lose any when it goes down. Uh, but when we win is when it's busy. So when you put in a headline on your show or in the New York Times, this is really good for the company. So the company loves volatility, and with volatility back, you know, the numbers of the company are just are just beautiful. Yeah, we haven't seen volatility in a long time. I mean, even in this long, you know, year-and-a-half rally where we saw $8 trillion in market value gain, it was just... No volatility. It was a very calm move. So first, talk to us about the quarter and the year that you just saw. You reported uh, great earnings. I want to get your take on what you just saw in the last three-month period and the year. And then I want to go into more about this volatility story because it's fascinating. So the fourth quarter BGC, we earned 35 cents a share, which is uh, the analysts were expecting about 29 cents. So that's uh, a big uh, gain over what the analysts were expecting. Um, superb numbers. Grew what the drove revenues. it? Yeah. Grew the revenues 15 percent, profits up 22 percent per share. So really, first-class numbers across the board. And what happens is spreading our markets and spreading our wings to lots of different markets. The energy markets are great places to trade. Uh, commodity markets, uh, interest rates are now back, right? Mm. We're talking about the 10-year note going up. Uh, all these kind of markets all around the world, foreign exchange, things moving around. As long as they're moving around, it's good for business. And obviously, the last week has been spectacular for business. So we were expecting to continue that kind of growth, right? Uh, revenues about, you know, the middle of the range would be about 15 percent uh, starting in the first quarter. But and earnings, of course, more than that. But if you're going to give us days like Monday, Tuesday, yeah. and Wednesday, you know, these things are going to just get better. So what do you think this week tells us about volatility returning? I mean, is that what you're expecting, that this year is going to be full of wide swings and just lots of volatility uh, since we haven't seen it in a long time? Does anything you saw this past week indicate that's going to continue? Yeah, well, you had two big things happen, right? You had uh, the tax cut. Right. You now have this quarter almost every company in America saying the tax cut has cost me money and my gap earnings for the fourth quarter are going to be down. But that means every quarter next year, I mean every single quarter for every money making company in America will be up. Every single one. And that's it's hard to imagine. It I mean, is. How could we talk about every company well, making I mean, more look, money? When you go from a, a tax rate of 40 percent to 21 percent, that's a really big deal for earnings. It's incredible. Yeah. So you have every company is going to make more money, right? And then you offset that with, hey, the 10-year note is getting more expensive. Interest costs are going to get more expensive. All these companies have had really cheap money. You know, but that's way offset by the tax cut. So what you have is a nice balance, but people can't really ingest that, right? What they've been waiting for is they've had low cost of money and sort of the market's just sort of what I called it melting upward, right? No one was really deeply convicted in the economy or deeply convicted in the stock market, but the stock market kept rising and rising and rising. Now you've got this adrenaline pump of uh, a tax cut. And you have interest rates sort of creeping higher, mm. and, and that's creating a dynamic that is going to move this market around, and it's going to make watching your show ever more important. But does that mean <laughs> that people should be worried about this? What's your take on interest rates and inflation? Are they back? Should, why are we so worried about 3% on the 10-year? I, I don't think we should be worried about 3% on the 10-year. You know, in 1987 and in 2007, if you looked outside, it was briefly sunny, right? In August of 87, it was really sunny. The stock market hitting new highs, right? <laughs> oh, God. And in, in 07, oh, it was about the sevens, I guess. The, uh, you know, it was sunny outside, but you could see on the horizon huge black clouds with, you know, lightning bolts and everything. And you would say, <laughs> look, kids, we got to go inside. It's going to get nasty. Yeah. Right now, if you look on the horizon, blue skies. Ooh, blue skies. <laughs> Didn't feel like blue skies yesterday, <laughs> but Howard Lutnick is real bullish.